All right, guys, well, as you can see from the title of this video, we got another new guitar to review today. Um, not going to do a full review as far as playing it today. This is just going to be an unboxing video. We'll do a, a playthrough later. But I wanted to do a real short video because this was a steal of a deal. Um, this is a Fender American Acoustasonic Telecaster, and I got it off of a guitar shop in Ohio, uh, off of Reverb, and I don't know if this was a Black Friday thing or not, but this was $500 off the regular price. So I got this for only $14.99. And I was a little concerned, so we're going to open this up and see. Uh, I was concerned it might be a demo model or maybe a return or something like that. Um, but he, they assured me it's, it's, a, it's a new guitar. I found it hard to believe they're selling this for $14.99 as an American uh, Acoustasonic when the uh, Mexican-made Acoustasonics just came out, and they're selling for $11.99 brand new. So this is only $300 more for the American version, uh, which has a lot more of the um, pickup options, which we'll uh, talk about in a minute. So let's see if it really is a brand new one or if this was a demo model, and uh, that's why it was $500 off. So real quick unboxing here, hopefully. Uh, the gig bag's really nice. Uh, it's got, like, all these... Uh, pockets and the, the uh, canvas on the outside is really um, high quality. Like it's not flimsy at all. It's not, I was a little concerned about it being a gig bag instead of a hard shell case, but this is really, really nice. So let's see what's inside. So they gave me a copy of my receipt there. Actually, there's proof for you right there. Uh, $14.99 for a Fender American Acoustasonic Telecaster. Um, I hope it's legit. Maybe it was just a lucky Black Friday deal. Maybe they were trying to clear out some stock for the new uh, player series, the Mexican series that are coming in. Uh, they gave me some guitar picks. It's kind of a nice uh, touch there. This is the place I got it from off of Reverb, in case you guys are interested. I don't know if they still have any at that $14.99 price. Uh, it might have just been a Black Friday or a, a clearance to make room for the new Mexican-made ones, but we shall see. Um, nice pockets inside here for organizing all the stuff you might need. All right, let's see real quickly what's in the case candy bag here, and then we'll get to opening up the guitar itself. So this is probably the standard. If you've ever bought a Fender before, it's they have pretty standard stuff, but I don't know if the Acoustasonics are any different. So uh, just the tag there, Fender's Play Online Lessons, little Fender sticker. A quick start guide, which uh, we can talk about later with the Acoustasonic. Uh, it does have a few unique things about this that are different than most other guitars, so a um, few um, people might be confused when they first get these, so this is kind of nice for them to give you a little bit of a layout so that you kind of know what's going on with these instead of having to go search online. Uh, this is kind of the nuts and bolts here, the voice selections, we'll talk about that later, but this American one has five different uh, positions. The Mexican one has three different positions. So you get uh, a few extra voicings. You get 10 on this one versus six on the Mexican made one. And from what I've seen so far, the extra voicings are just different types of acoustic emulations. Um, the, the electronics are uh, fairly similar. Oh, this one does have the rechargeable uh, battery, whereas the Mexican made ones take a nine volt. So I don't know if that's a, a pro or a con, actually. Sometimes I wish I had a 9-volt because it just makes it easier to grab a battery and throw it in, and other times I feel like I'm being wasteful, so it's nice having the rechargeable. Uh, there's the Certificate of Authenticity, and then just the the normal Fender uh, marketing materials and warranty information that they give everybody. Okay, so is that everything? Oh, we got a few more things. Uh, oh, the charging cable. Oh, that's interesting. It's a Monoprice uh, branded charging cable instead of a Fender charging cable. I wonder if that's something that the, the shop in Ohio threw in or if that's actually the way Fender sells them. That's interesting. It's all right. I already have the charging cable for these anyway. And then uh, I'm guessing this is to adjust the truss rod possibly. The... Uh, Allen bolt. Okay, that's everything. So let's open it up and see. Did I really get a brand new American Stratocaster for $500 off? Or was this a demo model or floor model? Okay, it looks like it's still sealed. That's a good sign.
Although they could have just rewrapped it. So we will see here momentarily. All right, so there we are. It definitely looks new. I mean, I don't see all the normal scratches and things that you would see um, on sometimes the, the demo models. It is definitely beautiful and a great value for a US made version of one of these. Because these things normally go for $19.99. Well, it's kind of nice in the here they have a uh, two separate uh, padded neck supports uh, to kind of keep it uh, it's got a nice little cutout here for the uh, strap on the end really well made gig bag and that is it so it looks like I just maybe got a really good deal I, I, I would say you know jump onto their website uh, this particular neck, although it's, it is it is ebony, this one does not have as much of the figuring, which is slightly disappointing. But I guess for fourteen ninety nine, you can't figures can't be choosers. But I've seen some of the Acoustasonics that have like all kinds of figuring and uh, different uh, colored ebony streaks in the neck, whereas mine looks like it's just pretty much solid black, uh, top to bottom, which is fine. Like I said, that that's just um, you know aesthetics. It doesn't affect the value of the guitar, or the playability of the guitar at all. I just thought it looked kind of cool to have the streaks. But uh, everything else looks pristine, so this does not look like it has been played before. Uh, switch has got good uh, resistance in it. It's not loose. So yeah, I'm very excited to get this plugged in and try it out, but just wanted to do a real quick unboxing. Um, like I said, it was Guitar Guys here. Uh, thank them for the screaming deal. It's the best price I have ever seen on a brand new Acoustasonic, and it was exactly as advertised. So there you are. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will try to do a um, more full review of the guitar itself in a later video. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.